Hey, how's it going guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the new Red Skull figure. Let me start out by saying I am really happy to have a new Red Skull because the blue and red one from the Face Off series is just really goofy looking, I think. I understand where they got the outfit from, but I don't like it. And even though I don't have the original one, I know it looked okay but had almost no articulation, so this is finally a nice addition to the Red Skull collection, to the Marvel Legends collection. Unfortunately, he's on one of the most widely disliked Marvel Legends bodies. This is the Ultimate Nick Fury body, which has been used dozens of times, probably not really dozens, but a bunch of times. So it's really disappointing. However, it fits the figure, it fits the character. So I can't say it's that big of a problem. He does have the uh, Winter Soldier boots, so he's not quite as tall as Nick Fury, and they look better, so that's definitely a bonus. I really do like that they use those boots. So, I mean, it's, it's a decent looking figure. It looks fine. I do wish it wasn't on that body because the articulation's pretty poor, but it looks really good. The fact that they gave him a gray jacket with a black shirt and a light gray pants, it's got nice composition. They painted the buckles, so that's nice. Buckles there. Holster there, holster there. Unfortunately, we only have one gun that can actually fit in either holster. It's this red one, which we've seen this mold before, and they painted what is supposed to be a Hydra logo on it, so that's decent. I mean, they could have just left it solid black, so that's better than nothing, even though it's really not a Hydra logo. But it does fit in that holster there and in the one on his thigh, so that's okay. I would put it in that one because you can see it better. This gun, however, it's a new sculpt. Kind of cool looking, I guess. It doesn't fit anywhere, so keep that in his hand like I have it here, and you'll be okay. And he comes with an ice cube of some sort, and I'm not sure why they gave him an ice cube, maybe because Captain America was frozen in ice. No, of course, I'm only kidding, this is the Tesseract. It's clearish blue plastic, translucent blue, doesn't let a whole lot of light through, but it is enough so that you can see through it, and it looks cool. It would have been nice if they had like some swirly marbling going on in the plastic, like we saw in, um, who had the swirly plastic? Was it Moonstone? Somebody had swirly plastic, I'm not sure. So that would have looked cool, but this is fine. And he can hold it in his hand here. I'm pretty sure that's a new hand sculpt. I think it is, and if I'm right, then that's cool. I appreciate that they did that. And he can hold it, so cool. Now onto the part that you are most curious about, the head. <clears throat> This is, without a doubt, the best Red Hood head sculpt that I've seen on any action figure. I think it's sculpted incredibly well. There's a huge amount of detail to it. It's almost spot on to the Marvel Now Red Skull with those kind of wormy lips. I do wish he didn't have quite so much of an overbite, but it's almost exactly accurate, so I can live with it. It's absolutely a welcomed addition to the head sculpts of all the Marvel Legends. And here's the thing. As much as I dislike what some of the Marvel Legends have been in recent history, the head sculpts are almost always done really well, and this one is a perfect example of that. It's the epitome of a nicely done head sculpt. It looks great. The paint, uh, I don't know about the paint, it looks kind of like a super bounce ball. And maybe that's part of the molded plastic, part of the paint, I don't know. It doesn't look horrible because it actually kind of fits the burned up look, even though I know he's not really burned up. But it fits that look of Red Skull, so I'm okay with it. The eyes are painted well enough. The head looks fantastic. So really, they could have just stuck the head on a block of plastic, and it looks that good that I would have been okay with it. But the body is good enough. Like I said, it fits Red Skull. It's not the best. I don't particularly care for it, but it's definitely good enough and passable. So I say this is a 100% must-have figure. If you're a Marvel Legends collector, you need to have this version of Red Skull. It is by far, without a doubt, the best version we have gotten. Hands down. I think, as much as I like Hydra Guy and AIM Guy and Zemo, this guy is the must-have of the bunch. And that's saying something because we haven't had an AIM guy before, so a lot of people really want him, but I think this one is more vital in terms of being in your collection. 
So there it is, guys. I don't really have much else to say, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.